today we'll have a look at a brand that I have not reviewed a whole lot of pens of, but there have been one or two. ST Dupont. Yeah, it's ST Dupont, of course. Uh, I, I like their logo. I also really like this box. It's simple, no frills, and I like that D. It's just simple and it's elegant. On the side here it says ST Dupont. Uh, this uh, pen was lent to me by uh, Joost from uh, Applebaum Pennen. Don't forget I have a discount code there, so if you are particularly excited and you want to buy this, uh, then you can of course use the discount code. Uh, simple box, nice box, little velvet covered ST Dupont logo again there. Little thing comes out, you have the, the manual. It's uh, not a very colourful one, but it does give you filling instructions and all that in, in several languages. And you get a converter, and the converter is, uh, is labelled ST Dupont, and that's actually engraved, ST Dupont Paris. So that's nice, it's not just printed on there, it's actually engraved. I happen to use a cartridge in there just because I did. But you can of course also use the, um, uh, the converter that's supplied. Now, it's an interesting pen. Uh, uh, this is the ST Dupont Line D, and this is the one in black and gold because there are other finishes. This is the pen. It's all metal, lacquer, uh, and very, very interesting. Uh, just to get some stuff out of the way, it's 510 euros at um, uh, uh, Applebaum, and that's about 421 euros without that. So if you're overseas or something, you can always uh, take advantage of that, as it were. This is an interesting pen, and ST Dupont says some interesting things about it, which I copied from the website. Um, they describe this as a masculine and traditional line with a generous and established proportions. Um, I, I think, I, I suppose masculine, I think most men do want to have generous proportions, but that is the only thing that I can kind of see in this, because established proportions yeah herring salad I, I don't understand what this means um, having said that yes it is a bigger pen yes it's fairly hefty so I, I, I can see how it would appeal to men but of course if you're a woman you can use this just as well it, it, I, I, I'm not really getting it I'm going to cover the past the pen tone I like about it what I don't like about it and then we'll do a writing sample top of the pen finial has that nice D again Gold and black typically works well, and then we have a nice clip that I really like. And this is not really a center band, it's not on the cap, I guess it is a center band, but it's on the barrel. All black and gold. Uh, the clip seems to be spring loaded because this moves very easily, which is great, very easy to use. So I, I do like that. On that center band, it says ST Dupont. And it says Paris on the other side. So simple, nice, barrel, shiny, and then a gold, very shiny end knob, little thing. Cap pulls off, not a screw cap, that's always uh, interesting. And then we have a section, very simple, tapers down, little lip keep the cap in place and then the uh, the nib a gold colored nib and a, a nice uh, feed and I always like this sort of oyster shell shape of the uh, ST Dupont nibs that's unique as far as I know and it does make them stand out it's a 14 karat nib this is 14k 585 this is a fine has a hallmark on there and it has the uh, the ST Dupont D yet again so there's no mistaking this for anything else as I said cartridge converter filled pen little to show there um, I do think you may be able to fit another cartridge in there that should fit right so if you really want to use cartridges you can always do that this is the uh, blue cartridge came along with it um, there seems to be a rubber ring right there uh, I do not think that is intended to use it as an eyedropper filled pen, which people are fairly obsessed with. Uh, I think that is simply there to kind of keep this in place and make the closure work well, but it's, it's not to close it off. There you have it. 
as I said, well, generous proportions, yes, it is a bigger pen. It's, I'm, I'm not sure I would call this an oversized pen, but it's, it's definitely bigger, uh, for sure. Um, so, no small pen, and if you want to, uh, be a bit careful because I'm loaning this, or lending this, but it's, uh, you can post it, and then it becomes pretty sizable, probably a bit too big, and also very top-heavy. What do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? Price, sizable. It's uh, it's it's a considerable price. Of course, you uh, yeah. It's St. Dupont. St. Dupont makes expensive pens. Some of the limited editions are three thousand, four thousand, and go up. Um, this is not a limited edition pen, so relatively speaking, it is a bit more affordable. But it's not a cheap pen. It's not a piston filler either. But it is a gold nib. Is it worth everything on here, cent for cent? No, it's not, and you know it's not. And it goes for pretty much every expensive pen. There's nothing in here that, that really, you know, warrants that price, but you're buying a, a brand pen, and you're buying one of the more expensive brands. What I will say about this, about this is, I find it a very pleasant pen. Uh, I, yeah, I don't find the shape to be particularly spectacular. It's not like I've, I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple, slightly bulbous uh, cap and then a barrel that tapers down. But it's comfortable. The section is pleasant. It's metal, could be a little slippery, but it, for me it works. It's larger and the nib, arguably the most important part of any fountain pen, works really well. It's a fine, it's smooth, it may be a little bit picky to, as, as to the paper and when it's smooth and when it's a little less smooth but I've tried it on a bunch of papers and I think it's very nice. My experience with SC Dupont nibs has been very good. So you may pay more but as to the writing experience you also get more. Pretty much no skipping and even on a fine nib it was not scratchy, it was pleasant to use. Um, so that I think is is worth something, especially in a day and age where a lot of nibs need tuning out of the box. So far, every SD Dupont I've used wrote flawlessly. So, I'm impressed with that. That's pretty much it. Black and gold typically works. It's not for everyone, but it's a classic combination and it, it works. So, no issues there. I like it. I think this is a nice pen. I uh, I understand it's it's a bit more expensive. Um, but it is nice. The nib is nicely designed. Some nice lines on it. It's just, it's just classy, and I see the appeal. So there you have it, Joost. Thank you for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. it's coming back to you now. But before I send it back, I have to do a writing sample. That's coming up next. High resolution pictures as well as measurements of the pen will be on the website sbrebound.com, and that's all there's to it. Hope this was useful so far, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the ST Dupont line D, black and gold. The nib is fine, and the ink is, um, I thought it was Pelican Royal Blue that was put in a cartridge. For a fine nib, I find this to be very pleasant. It's, um, yes, it's fine, yes, there may be a bit of feedback, but overall, it's a very smooth experience, so I really like it, a very nice find. Another thing that I enjoy, and that adds to the smoothness, is that it's just a nice wet writer, so even with this fairly dry Pelican ink, uh, it's pretty wet. And that in a fine nib is really quite nice. I'm, I'm exerting no pressure and you can see it's pretty wet. So very, very nice. Softness of the nib. You can see you can squeeze out some line variation, but the feed very quickly starts to railroad. It just can't handle that ink demand. So I'm going very slow on the flexi bits here. You see what happens. So even though it has some spring to it, you can't really use this uh, in that manner. Reverse writing for those of you who enjoy such a thing. Very dry. That's well, already a fine nib anyway. 
but very, very dry. So there you have it. Yoast, thanks a lot for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.